Hey guys, today we are going to answer the question, how do I tell if linear equations are parallel and how do I write the equations of parallel lines? So remember that parallel lines have the same slope. So to write equations of parallel lines, we need to determine the slope of the given line. Then we will use the same slope and the given point to write the equation of the parallel line. We'll use point slope form or slope intercept form to do that. And then parallel to the X and the Y axis. A line that is parallel to the x-axis or any other horizontal line is also going to be horizontal with a zero slope and a y equals equation. So if it tells you that the line is parallel to the x-axis or that it's horizontal, then we are going to have a y equals equation. And then a vertical line or a line that is parallel to the y-axis or any other vertical line is also going to be vertical. It'll have an undefined slope and an x equals equation. Whenever we're dealing with parallel to the x and the y axis, I just find it easier to draw out a picture um, that helps you think through all of the different steps. So we'll do that in a minute. First, let's look at writing the equation of parallel lines. So number one, it says write the equation of the line in slope intercept form that is parallel to 4 thirds x plus 5 and goes through 12, 3. So we need two things to write the equation of a line. We need a slope and a point. So let's look at the slope first. We want to be parallel to this equation. So I'm going to use the same slope from this equation. And this equation is in slope intercept form. So I can see that the slope is 4 thirds. And then I was also given a point 12, 3. So there's my x1 and y1. So it wants us to write the equation in slope intercept form. I'm going to write it in point slope form and then I'll convert it to slope intercept form. So it'll be y minus three equals four thirds times x minus 12. The slope was four thirds and then my point was 12, three. So now I just need to convert this to slope intercept form. So I'm going to distribute and I get y minus 3 equals 4 thirds x and 4 thirds times 12 equals 16 over 1 or just 16. So that would be 4 thirds x minus 16. And then I'm going to add 3 and I get y equals 4 thirds x, negative 16 plus 3 is negative 13. So there is the equation that is parallel to this one and goes through 12, 3. If you wanted to double check it, you could substitute in 12 and 3. You could also graph that on your graphing calculator. Okay, let's look at number two. It says write the equation of the line in slope intercept form that is parallel to 3y equals 2x minus 3 and goes through negative 3, 4. So I have a little bit of work to do to determine the slope from this equation because it's not in slope intercept form yet. I need to divide by 3 and now the equation will be in slope intercept form and it'll be 2 thirds x minus 1. So the slope of this equation is two-thirds and then they gave me the point three four and this time instead of using point slope form you can do that that's just fine I just want to show two different ways I'm going to plug into y equals mx plus b and solve for b so y was four so I'm going to replace y with four the slope m is two-thirds and then x is negative 3, and I'm solving for b. So it'll be 4 equals 2 thirds times negative 3 over 1 is negative 2. So 2 thirds times negative 3 is negative 2, and then plus b. Now I'm going to add 2, and I get 6 equals b. So now I have both things I need to write my equation in slope intercept form. I have the slope two thirds and the y intercept of six. So my equation in slope intercept form would be y equals two thirds x plus six. Now 
Number three says, write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form that is parallel to 9x plus 3y equals 18 and goes through negative 1, 4. So first thing I need to do is find the slope of that equation by converting it to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides. And I get 3y equals negative 9x plus 18. And then I'm going to divide by 3 and I get y equals negative 3x plus 6. So now I can tell the slope from this equation. It is negative 3. So I have the slope, and then I have my point, and you can do one of the two methods I showed you, point slope form, like we did on this first problem, or solve for b in slope intercept form. I'm gonna use point slope form on this one and then convert it to slope intercept form. So it'll be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y plus four, since y1 was negative four, equals the slope is negative three times x plus one, since x was negative one. And now I need to distribute, and I get y plus 4 equals negative 3x minus 3. And then I'm going to subtract 4, and now y is by itself. Get negative 3x minus 7. All right, number 4 says write the equation of the line that is parallel to the line on the grid and goes through negative 2, 7, then graph the parallel line. So I need two things to write my equation. I need a point, which I have, and I need a slope, which they didn't give me, but they did give me the line on the graph. So I can find the slope by doing rise over run. So first thing I notice is that it's going to be a negative slope. And there's my slope triangle. The rise is 1, 2, 3, 4, and the run is 1. So it's negative 4 over 1 or negative 4. So I have the slope. I have my point. We can use point slope form or plug into slope intercept form and solve for b, which is what I'm going to do this time. So I'm going to replace y with 7. The slope is negative 4 times x is negative 2, and then plus b. So 7 equals negative 4 times negative 2 is 8 plus b, and then I'm going to subtract 8, and I get negative 1 equals b. So now I have both things I need to write the equation in slope-intercept form. The slope was negative 4, the y-intercept is negative 1, so the equation will be y equals negative 4x minus 1. And now I'm going to graph that line. I'm going to plot the y-intercept at negative 1, and then I'm going to plot more points with the negative 4 slope. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. I'm going to go back to the y-intercept and go the opposite way, up 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1. And there we can tell it's going to be a parallel line with the same negative 4 slope. All right, number 5 says write the equation of a line that is parallel to the y-axis and goes through negative 7, negative 10. So let's draw a picture of this parallel to the y-axis. So there's my y-axis. There's my x-axis. We are parallel to the y-axis, so that means it's going to be a vertical line. And it's going through the point negative 7, 10. So that might be somewhere, oh, negative 7, negative 10. So it might be somewhere down here. So vertical line going through negative 7, negative 10. Vertical lines have x equals equations, and the x value here is negative 7. So there is the equation of the line. Sometimes it can be tempting to put y equals because it says parallel to the y-axis, but it's really an x equals equation because that is vertical. Okay, let's look at number six. This time I am parallel to the x-axis. 
So let's draw a picture. Here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. We are parallel to the x-axis. So that means it's going to be a horizontal line. And then we are going through the point 12, 8, which is in quadrant 1. And we are horizontal to that, which means we have a zero slope. And then it's going to be a y equals equation since we're going through the y-axis. And the y value in the point is 8. Okay, number seven says write the equation of a line that is parallel to y equals 10 and goes through negative 5, 15. So parallel to y equals 10. Let's sketch what y equals 10 would look like. There's my x-axis, there's my y-axis. It's y equals 10, so we're going through the y-axis at 10. And I'm going to be parallel to that going through negative 5, 15. So parallel is going to be another horizontal line. So another y equals equation and the y value in the point that they gave us is 15. So y equals equations will be parallel. Okay, last one, write the equation of a line that is parallel to x equals two and goes through seven, 18. So let's sketch a picture of this. Here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. We are going through x equals 2. So that's intersecting the x-axis at 2. And then we have a line that's parallel to it going through 718, so another point in quadrant 1. And if it's parallel, it's also going to be vertical. Vertical lines go through the x-axis, so they have an x equals equation, and the x value here is 7.